Here at home, St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church in Milwaukee saw a much larger turnout this morning during its Sunday services. Bruce Harrison spent the morning with a member of the congregation whose days and nights now consist of worrying about his family back home in Ukraine. At St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church, parishioners sing almost all of the worship. For Vasil Ovod, it's a form of therapy. When we sing and we want to cry, we feel like we want to, yes, it's like yelling sometimes. You want to say why it happened. Why the war? Some of Ovod's family has fled to Poland for safety, but his brother and elderly father stayed behind to help the resistance. His in-laws remain as well, now hiding in a cold basement from rocket attacks. I cannot sleep, I cannot eat, I cannot work. I, I, it's a difficult time, but we try praying, going, try to do something. For many people without a connection to Ukraine, the war may seem sudden or unexpected, but this flag has reminded the congregation for years of the threat of greater violence. Ukrainian soldiers signed and sent this flag to St. Michael's in 2014. It's a large thank you note for the church's donation of supplies to soldiers after Russia invaded Crimea. Eight years later, and the church is still collecting to send aid to family and soldiers back home. We came here, we loved this place, and our love was just growing, 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 and now we can now live without this church. And for Ovod and many here, the spiritual support is just as important as the material. Praying, it's helped us. We, we feel this, even our soldier from Ukraine, they said, we feel something magical because when you pray, you, you give like uh, something power for them. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News.